Hey guys, you're back with some more Apex Legends arenas. Uh, yeah, I know I've been having fun, uh, a, a lot of fun with arenas um, recently, so yeah. I think this match, yes, I do end up picking Fuse, I do believe. I was going to go Horizon, but then I'm like, you know what, I haven't played Fuse in a while, because I've been playing Valkyrie just non-stop, and that's, I think that's the second match I've had in total of playing uh, Fuse and arenas that I've actually not been able to pick Valkyrie. <laughs> so I picked Fuse. I haven't played him in a while. Well, last few days, I guess. Um, yeah, no. So far, it's been really fun. And I've kind of I've kind of got this, like, I don't know if this is meta or whatnot yet. Um, actually, I'm surprised. I just, yeah, I guess I don't remember anything that happened. I think I recorded this yesterday, so. Um, you know, uh, it's... Um, normally I pick the wingman just right off the start, but I think I went for the Volt this time, specifically because it was, um... Oh, right, this map, the... I wanted something that was more automatic for this map specifically, because uh, it's normally a lot further range, and the Volt... For me, I'm a little bit more accurate at range with, and I can miss a few more shots at range. Um, so that's why I went for the bolt for this pick. I think I stick with the wingman afterwards, though. I'm not sure. But yeah, no. Uh, I've actually, now that I've gotten some playtime in arenas, I think my highest win, my highest amount of wins is like three in a row. Like uh, win streak, that's for arenas. It's like three in a row. Yeah. B missed both of those. That was wonderful, and then missed all my shots. That was an amazing. That was amazing, right? I don't know. Uh, oh yeah, there's Valkyrie. I missed all my shots again. I think this is where I'm like picking the bolt ever again. Is this where? Yeah, I kind of start running here because we're. Yeah, I get uh, hit with. Actually, I don't know what hit me. You yeah, know, I kind of hide behind this rock, quickly get, pop off uh, some shields. I think I think it's just shield cells that I have. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think one of them ended up just dying to to the ring. I don't know. But we were able to. They they tried to shoot me while I was put while I was uh, getting to the ring. So they. They weren't actually getting out of the ring <laughs> themselves, so I think yeah, two of them died to the ring <laughs> that round. Um, like two of them got finished off to the ring. I think, I think Valk was actually doing really good this round. Um, you know, yeah, and <laughs> yeah, no, I. I like the bolt. Sometimes I can hit with it, but this is also, I think, this was my warm-up match. Like, I don't think I I'd even touched Apex. I've been using, like, Arena as, like, warm-up because I really don't care about my KD nearly. Like, I don't care as much about whether I win or lose in Arena. So I kind of just use it as a warm-up. Now that I've got all my badges, I really don't uh, care too much. And, yeah, I think this is where I, I select the uh, Wingman. Because Wingman actually is really damn good. Uh, you'll notice, and then I always pick the uh, uh, what's it called, the Eva. Eva's actually just just in case uh, they're really close range. Instead of uh, hip firing with the wingman, I just hit fire with the Eva, and I can normally get a little bit more damage in. Now I could have used the uh, PK, but. Um, Eva has a uh, higher fire rate, and that's what I, I I want the higher fire rate, not the higher damage chance uh, in this because I can if I miss with the uh, PK, it's a lot more costly than if I miss with the Eva because it can shoot uh, almost instantly right after. So that's kind of my thought process with um, when I'm doing this. And this is only in arenas that I like actually use the wingman. And as uh, as often, I mean, I'll use 
you know, and we can see them kind of just flying at us. So it's not too uh, subtle in arenas. I think I get a good few shots. No, I actually missed every single one of those. And then, I don't know. I think, yeah, they're down by the time I come around. So I ended up going underneath. We ended up leaving the, uh, leaving the Valkyrie because <laughs> that's just more damage on us and we, I didn't feel like risking it, so. I was surprised. Um, you run just fast enough to outpace the ring without when you're not when you're using your weapon or when you're not using I mean when you're not using your weapon. So yeah, no, the ring's actually pretty fast, but it is to try to force you to get in. <laughs> That's when I get the stick, and if I were were to leave it, I could have I probably would have. Ended up uh, like finish finishing the Valkyrie off with, or nearly finishing the Valkyrie off with my uh, with with my uh, grenade, which is pretty funny. The fact that you can think of just hitting them with a wingman, and that's kind of why I like fuse with the wingman. Um, yeah, and that's when I go back to up the. I think I do up the Eva. Yeah, because I just I wanted to get some nades. I don't actually think I use them. Uh, I don't use nades too often, and I mean I don't use nades too often in general. But I use them even less in arena, just because it's um, normally trying to get quick kills. The only time I use nades really is on um, which map is it? I always grab this, but um, on Party Crasher because there's more buildings that they can hide in and more corners they hide around. Yeah. I, I still... Enemy over there. I got two shots off. I think I actually get some damage with that. Yeah, you see I got some... Get a little bit of damage with it. Get that. Oh! <laughs> I shot the Valk in the back. Where I got that. That was a pretty good match, actually. Uh, that was probably my, one of my one of my better matches using the uh, wingman. The yeah, no. wingman, in my opinion, is probably one of the better weapons because it's like you can use it at long ranges and you can use it at short ranges. So it's definitely one of the better weapons to use in um, arenas, uh, as well as the R301, which I don't know if I used that in this video, but I think I used it in last video maybe, but I do use the R301 quite often. It's probably one of my more favored uh, ones. Alright, I ended up going for Bangalore because I need the challenges done with Bangalore, so I did Bangalore uh, for this one instead of Valkyrie. So there's actually no Valkyrie gameplay, which I'm actually surprised with. Time to put some lead down range. You know, I would have gone Fuse, but Bangalore I needed some... I needed some stuff done with, so I did, went for Bangalore. Uh, Bangalore is a pretty good character, just not someone I use too often. I, but, I mean, they're still a decent character. <laughs> um, especially in arenas, actually. Because the smoke does... Is, it either forces people to move out of the way because they don't want to be in the smoke, or it, it kind of hides quickly because getting a quick revive off can be crucial in... like, this. So, being able to do that with either... Uh, Gibby, like being able to create something where you can either pull off a revive or use Lifeline's drone, like that can actually be like really big in Arena, I've noticed. Um, so yeah, that just that barrier, so they don't, so you don't really know where they are and they don't really know where you are, you are, you are, um, is really damn good. I think this is actually the match that I think the Lifeline ended up leaving in this match, which sucks. And if anyone watching, and not that there are going to be too many people watching this, but if anyone is watching, don't be that person who just up and leaves. Like, just finish the match. Oh no, you got you got a loss on your record. Whatever will you do? Like, and the thing is, is I've made some pretty, like my team's made some pretty good comebacks where we've been losing uh, two to zero, oh, and I've missed every one of those shots. Um, and we've 
been able to bring it back. Okay. Yeah, that's safe. <laughs> that Valkyrie ca kind of came and saved me. I don't know how I missed so many shots. Um, but I did. That's what it is. I meant to shoot it further and it hit the damn thing because I tried to shoot it away. I don't know. I tried to shoot it like a decoy. So that way people would kind of go... Uh, either assume I'm in there or assume I'm yeah, hiding somewhere else and then maybe I don't know why I didn't pick that bat up, but I didn't. I tried to go find whoever was Yeah, and then I broke them and got downed. Yeah, and then they just leave me alone. Oh no wait, no they didn't end up. They tried to come finish me off so they could get one kill and then my teammate kind of got them down, so yeah. yeah. Thirsting is good, but it's only good if you're not the only person on your team alive. Ah uh, yeah. Uh, what do I go for here? I think, do I go for an extra smoke? Yeah, I went for an extra smoke because last time I, 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 know I, I noticed I could have used it. Um, and I really could have used it in the last match, um, the third smoke, but I didn't end up, uh, I ended up using two instead of one, which I should have just been like, you know what, screw it. <laughs> um, yeah, no. This is what it is. Get a little bit of scuffed gameplay right here where we're all trying to climb up, so I ended up just going to the side kind of climbing up that way. Uh, no, I don't go up to the top. Never go up to the top. Like I've seen people try to go up to the top. Uh, a lot. Of, they, they seem to end up trying to move to the middle a lot of the time. So we ended up trying to move to the middle, and then they stopped moving to the middle. Yeah, I think what? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was Valkyrie because I've been playing so much Valkyrie that I went. I went instead of the zipline. I was just going to use the VTOL jets, and that didn't work out well. Right. This is where I kind of go around. Got both of those down. down Alright, I was doing this because I needed another, again, missions. I don't normally care, but. And this is where I'm like, must get to safety! And I don't know why I jumped off. I, I, I guess I just didn't notice. Yeah. As you can see, I'm I'm one of those players that's like incredibly insignificant. I won't make you lose the game. I won't make you. I won't. <laughs> I won't help you win, but I won't be your downfall type thing. Like I'm not gonna carry you, but I'm not gonna be one to be carried. That needs to be carried either. I don't know. Okay, I do stupid things. It happens. I know there's a lot I could do that's better. And just watching this, I see, I can see so much that I'm like, I'm not paying attention to, or I could have done that's just been, that was just uh, a better way I could have done it. And yeah, this is where I kind of feel bad because like there, yeah, it was the lifeline that ended up leaving. Like, they, who knows, maybe they could have brought it back. Like. And the thing is, is the more you play, the more uh, it'll kind of tell whether or not you're uh, with the right player. So you're going to have to lose a few games before you kind of get into the ga matches you're supposed to be into. Because it's similar to um, it's skill-based matchmaking. You can't actually have proper skill-based matchmaking unless you actually do a few matches to find out so the game can find out where your skill is at. This Valkyrie kind of just swoops in. I think we just push them because of the fact that they're only two and we kind of want to just finish this match. And that's when I get... And that's when I realize both of them are there. Yeah. I switched that. Yeah. Finish them up. I think I... I don't even think I need to do that one. Um... I was just kind of in the moment, and I saw that I could, so I figured, hey, why not? 
I think we were actually just... I think we knew the Lobo was up there. But I really didn't feel like running all the way to go up there. So I kind of just went back. Brought that out. And kind of just blinded them so we could get back a little bit. And hopefully uh, grab some stuff. Not that I need it. Because, yeah, right. They're up there with the... Uh, And this is where I pick up Spitfire. And they finish them up before I get there. Yeah. You know, that wasn't just... I mean, for the first two, they were pretty good. I mean, for us, at least. Like, it, I prefer to have matches, like... Like, both of these matches that I'm showing here are kind of... Uh, not the best, but I prefer to have matches that are, like, back and forth. And you kind of just get the win, you know? But anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.